Good day everyone and welcome once again to catch up lessons with your teacher, Mr. Sumandi. This video will help you revisit the lessons for your self-time learning. And for today's objective, we will be applying the knowledge of basic tenses of verbs by filling the sentences with the correct form. Heads up everyone, write down the feature vocabulary word that you will see flashing on the screen. This word will be included in your upcoming reading comprehension quiz. This week's competency skill in English is grammar, and we will continue discussing the nine parts of speech of the English language. We are now in the second week of our parts of speech series. Make sure you have saved a copy of the guide you see on the screen right now, for this will help you accomplish this week's output. We have revisited the lessons on nouns, pronouns, and adjective. Today, we will focus more on verbs. But, let's talk first. Yes, sir! Let's try answering these questions on your own. What activities did you do before attending this class? Since I needed to prepare for my online class, I did not prepare a decent lunch for myself. I just ate instant noodles for lunch. What daily chores do you do at home? After my friend finishes all the records for today's class, I clean my workplace. What will you do on weekend? We should give our weekends to ourselves. As for me, I will go to the market and I will buy ingredients for my cooking experiment on Saturday. Were you able to answer these questions with ease? Yes, sir! We were able to give our responses to the questions because we are aware of the actions that we did, we do, and we will do. These words are called verbs. Verbs are words that display action in your sentences. Examples of these based from my responses are eat, clean, and buy. However, we must understand that verbs are formed depending on the time the action is done. There are three basic timelines. They are simply called past tense, present tense, and future tense. Let's start with the actions that were finished in the past. Past tense. Confusing as it seems, but verbs in their past form can be easily remembered as long as you are familiar with most of them. Basically, for you to easily learn them, you have to remember that verbs in past form are divided into two categories. They are regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs are common verbs that end usually with ed, t, IED when they are changed into their past form. Examples of these are walk, walked, bake, baked, try, tried. Notice that we added ED, D, and IED 
to these verbs under regular verbs. Irregular verbs, on the other hand, are words that usually have different spelling when changed to their past form. Examples of these are eat, take, and cut. The past tense of these verbs are ate, took, and cut. Notice that there is one verb here that did not change the spelling. There are few verbs under irregular verb category that don't change their spelling when changed to their past form. In addition, it is easy to determine actions that were finished in the past since most of the time they are triggered by the time expressions such as last night, yesterday, few days ago, and so on. Let's take a look at these examples. The first example has the time expression last night, which means the word study should be changed in its past form. Do you know the correct past form of study? Is the word study regular verb? Yes, since it's a regular verb, let's just simply add ed, d, or ied. And for this word, we are using the ending IED. Nathaniel studied the past lessons in English last night. Let's take a look now at the second sentence. The time expression here is yesterday. The verb here is the word tell. Do you know its past form? The verb tell is irregular kind of verb, hence the spelling is different when it's changed to past. The past tense of tell is told. My mother told me to clean the dishes yesterday. There are plenty of English verbs. Naming them one by one will take a long time, so I suggest you explore this part by yourself. But here are some additional examples of verbs and their past form. Talk, talked, play, played, cook, cooked, chase, chased, taste, tasted, praised, praised, cry, cried, fry, fried, carry, carried. And here are some examples of verbs under irregular verbs. See, saw, meet, met, do, does, did, fly, flew, make, made, put, put, read, read, let, let. Let's now proceed to the present timeline of verbs, the present tense. The idea here is very simple. The actions happen all the time. To make it simpler, or more simple, if you listen to my previous lessons and adjectives, I categorize the ideas into three. First, actions that are already become habits. Second, actions that are always true. And third, actions that are frequently happen. Actions that are already become habits are actions that habitually happen. For example, Melody sings the national anthem every day. Actions that are always true are facts. The sun rises in the east. Actions that frequently happen are actions that always, sometimes, or never happen. For example, my brother studies his homework sometimes. But what is verb in present form? The verb in present form ends with s, es, or ies. But this is only applied when the subject, noun or pronoun, is singular or only one in number. For example, melody here 
which is our subject, is only one. Therefore, the verb sing has S at the end. On the other hand, subject plural or many in number takes the base form of the verb and doesn't need to have suffix S, E, S, or I, E, S. For example, students here now is plural in number. So the verb stays on its base form. The future tense of the verb is the easiest. We just need to remember the will plus verb. Also, sentences with future context usually have the future time expression. For example, they will play basketball later. This future form has only the probability of actions that will happen in the future. For example, it will rain on weekend. This is not really sure that it will rain on weekend, but there is a 50% chance that it will rain on that day. I would like to disclaim that these are only the basic tenses of the verbs. There are other tenses beyond these three, but that will be our topic for some other time. It's time to practice. Prepare your notebook and your pen. Let's check your knowledge on proper forms of verbs according to the three tenses of verbs. Change the word in the parentheses that you'll see in each sentence. Change the word to what appropriate form of verb is asked for each number. Let's start. Number one, Shelly always send messages to her crush. Let's change the word send into its present verb tense. Number two, Kate talked with her friends on the phone last night. Let's change the verb talk into its past verb. Number three, the teachers announced the new classroom policy yesterday in their class. Let's change the word announce into its past verb. Number four, Jose drive this new car to the mall tomorrow. Let's change the verb drive into its future verb. And number five, a few days ago, I buy Christmas gifts for my friends. Let's change the word buy into its past verb. We have learned a lot today. The basic of verb is not that difficult, is it? Please continue reviewing our lessons in parts of speech as preparation for the upcoming English Grammar Quiz on Thursday. That will be all.